Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini and welcome to this segment of One on One. Are you ready for some summer fun? I've got Chris Beth here today who is the director of Redwood Cities Park and Recreation and Community Services. Chris, welcome back. Thank you. You've been on the program before to tell us all that's happening in the city of Redwood City. Great to be back. Um, lots of things happening in the city of Redwood City, of course, the summer concert series, um, all sorts of events, but today we're here to focus on 4th of July. Right, it's coming up. It is, so we're, <laughs> we're gonna be airing this um, very quickly okay. so that people can um, sort of make their plans for Wednesday, July 4th. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about the parade because Redwood City still has uh, a parade in town. It's a great tradition. You know, I've been in Redwood City 14 years and we make it a family event. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, just talking to people who've been here for so long. And also people who recently moved to Redwood City, they, they've made this a tradition. Right. It's really cool. So I got to give all the props to PCA, Peninsula Celebration Association. They're, They're the still ones doing that it. Do 74th year. Wow. Uh, it's pretty incredible. So we are, are proud of them and, and uh, it's great to have a partnership between the city and the PCA. Right. And now with this year, um, there's a partnership with the Downtown Business Group. Um, Cause I don't know if you heard, there's a new uh, a route actually, we were talking about it. It's really the old route that is back into the downtown core. So those of us that are historians that have participated <laughs> yeah. in the parade and sitting and watching the parade, we're going back to the old right. route. Back to the old route. It's in the downtown core. Mm -hmm. uh, the festival is in the downtown core. Uh, we heard from a number of merchants and uh, other residents like, hey, we really miss that part. So could we you put it back and PCA right. has been great and they moved it back into downtown. So, and we should say that the Peninsula Celebration Association is an all-volunteer organization. That's right. And so, um, there's some great history there and some volunteers that have been there actually since the beginning. Uh, uh, there's been, right? there's, there, they put in so many hours. Right, they and do. they have this soda. I'm always amazed when you look at, hey, what if we put this on this street and they know the measurements of right. every single street. They're right. just really great. Great yeah. shout out to yeah. um, mm -hmm. all of our volunteers for yes. PTA. So, the parade route is going to go yep. back to the old, um, to the old route. Right. Um, so if, if you're just someone who's new to Redwood City or perhaps mm -hmm. is in uh, San Mateo and wants to come yeah. down, best thing to do, come down, what time, where should I park, okay, yeah, what do the, I do, uh, oh, there's so many, stakeout places, yeah, great. best street. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many things happening. So I think um, if you really want to get up early in the morning, start the day off right with a pancake breakfast, you can go oh. to the, uh, the firehouse, Station 9, downtown on Marshall, on Marshall Street. street. Uh, that starts at 7.30, so if you want to meet your local firefighter, uh, come on in. They, they provide a great breakfast, so uh, it's really fun. That's another great community building event. So you start that off, and then we have the annual fun run. Okay. So we partner, Parks and Rec partners with the Rebus City Ed Foundation. It's uh -huh. one of their fundraisers. We partner with them to do this. A lot of great sponsors, um, a lot of wonderful runners out there supporting Rebus City Ed Foundation. That starts at 8.45. Okay. So that's great. And then and uh, the it's, the same route. Right? it's the same route as the Oh, great. So starting so preview. At, yeah, that's right. And you have everybody who's lining up early uh, to get out there and they're cheering all the runners on. It's really, Fun. really fabulous. So uh, they're going to be starting uh, really Winslow, and I'm looking at my cheat sheet, and Marshall, and then that's going to follow the parade route okay. back down to Marshall and Maine, and then Maine to Middlefield and up. So that's the parade uh, route and also the run. It's so three laps around there I for the run. If I wanted to register for the run, do mm -hmm. I just go to the Redwood City website? You can go How to do Redwood I register? City. Yeah, a couple different ways. So if you want to go to the Redwood City website, there's a click there. There, uh, you'll see under 4th of July information, there's a link back to uh, paraderun.org. Uh, okay. Paraderun.org that uh, Redwood City Ed Foundation set up just for this. It has all the information, the route, Great. sponsors. They're having a, a, a mini festival right after um, the uh, the run. So it's thanking the sponsors and there's refreshments for the runners and so forth. So it's really great. That's It starts at 845. It finishes at, you know, we get everybody off right before the parade starts. And that starts at 10 o'clock uh, is the parade itself. And isn't there something like a cannon start or a yeah. shot? I mean, there's a real the, big... Um, opening ceremony uh, that happens with the parade it, It's starting. cool. So we have a couple of things. So, um, uh, boy, another another tradition, Ed Nornis, a great volunteer with mm -hmm. the, our department for a number of years, brings out this mini cannon. And he has shot that for the last 20 years, I, 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 probably more, but I'll just throw 20 out. Um, and he starts the parade run for that. And then there's a bigger cannon uh, for the um, for the parade start itself. The parade. So there's a couple of them, right? Start with a boom. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so people can start putting their lawn chairs out along the parade route and uh, yeah. Okay, spot. so uh, I don't know if you've been down there, and a lot of people probably have noticed, people put their chairs out really early, like <laughs> days in advance. So um, it's okay if you, you know, people tie them up. Um, it's up to you, right? You, that's the, the waiver. Uh, make sure that might be taken, I don't know. But people um, have set up really early. Um, I would say get there early, um, because otherwise you'll be stuck in the back uh -huh. uh, with the new route. Um, we're gonna be putting up signs. Uh, you'll Correct. see these coming up very soon to let people know, don't set up in the old area, set up 
in the new area, the okay. downtown core. Good. Um, lots of great space for that. Um, How so, many people yeah. do you expect? Oh, you know, throughout the day, they say anywhere from 20 to 40,000 people that are throughout the day for the event. Right. For the parade, uh, yeah, 10,000 or more that are there. Uh, so great. it's, you know, get the early parking. You know, it's going to be a little bit more of an issue this year because since this has moved downtown, that's mm -hmm. the trade off is that some of the parking structures are going to be closed early. So try to get there if you're going to park in the downtown core probably by 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, it might be full by then, but just be aware. Maybe the county lot is, is best. It's or a good, a yeah, good place to yeah. shoot for. Exactly, okay. and then walk in. We're also going to be providing a free shuttle service as well. Oh, good um, to know. And um, that's with the Peninsula Traffic Congestion Relief Alliance. Great. Uh, it's great. And then we're just sending up the um, uh, stops for that. But most likely it'll be at the Community Activities Building will be right. a stop. And then drop off down by the parade route. And then also at the Fair Oaks Community Center dropping off. And we'll do that every hour. So, so for those yeah. um, that might be new to watching the Redwood yeah. City Parade, what might we expect in oh, the Oh, gosh, yeah. So it's a real fun hometown feel, right? So you have uh, military units. Um, it's wonderful. People get up and you know applaud them, which they should. Um, we have uh, marching bands. We have the Stanford band. We have the Cal Aggie uh, Davis band, right? So there, <laughs> and there's a battle of the bands between them at the, you know, at the festival. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have local community groups. So you have the little leagues or the soccer groups, Great. walking, the baton groups, uh, the belly dancing group is, uh, uh, does that as well. And a lot of nonprofit groups, uh, Parks and Rec, we have a, a float, a Police Activities League has a load, Sheriff's Activities League. So lots of different partner groups and right. really a great hometown feel. I remember um, as a kid, I was a gymnast yeah. for a local gymnastics organization <laughs> and I did cartwheels and flip flops there you go. up and down those um, streets. All right. So, yeah, there's still time to enter the parade if you want to do that. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see me do cartwheels All anymore. Right. All right. At least of me <laughs> I want to do that. But um, one important aspect has come back to the city yeah. of Redwood City and um, it's been a long standing tradition. We lost mm -hmm. it for a while and that is our fire. Fireworks, fireworks um, yeah, and I think we have yeah. to give a big shout out to our lo local business community uh, for bringing yeah. it back. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So it all kind of happens, right? So it's a very expensive show uh, to put on, and just like you know, with the economy, they were all feeling that. PCA felt that as well. Um, so it cost a lot of money to put on the parade. That was one expense that they had to look at cutting, and they did. Um, you know, and it's really tough. And and so we all like that. We understood it, but we've been thinking about how do we bring it back. And so it, it shows the um, I think the uh, the community aspect for Redwood City. Right. Partners getting together, talking. So you had Ernie Schmidt, who came up, who had a contact with Sims Metal, who's a you know company. He said, hey, why don't you guys talk and maybe work that out. Who then, you know, we uh, connected with Keith, Keith Kadera for the Downtown Business Group, Eric Lochtefeld with the Fox Cedar. All these you know, partners got together. It's like, what if, what if, what if? And then we got core business sponsors together. Sims Metal Management led this and said, that awesome. we think we can save it and we're going to bring other sponsors aboard. So we have Sims, uh, we have um, uh, Lingso, we have Semex, we have Cargill, Informatica, Sears Regis, one marina project, the new housing um, right. uh, uh, that we have in Redwood City. Uh, we have Pete and Paula Uccelli Foundation. Uh, we have two anonymous donors that gave money, um, which is really cool. I want to make sure that everybody, oh, we, uh, we have um, uh, Kaiser Permanente. Uh -huh. We have Recology, uh, of course, um, uh, the Port of Redwood City, and then Redwood City itself. And so the fireworks all of will there. be... Um uh, set off at the Port of Redwood City. Yes. So where's the best place I can go in Redwood City to watch them? So, uh, yeah, it'll be a, a high aerial display like it's been in the past. So a lot of people, I've heard so many people say, I just walk outside my home and look up. Um, but really to get the best location, you know, you can try to go down to the port, but it gets full very quickly. Right. The show's going to start at 9.15, approximately about 20 minutes long is, is how long it's going to be. Okay. Um, the I've heard in the past that uh, cars coming in, uh -huh. streets are closed like by seven o'clock because it's so full so right. try to get there early um the best spot there at the port is that grass area right by the public dock okay so that's the best and people will spread out there we're having a band from seven to nine stealing third is the band's a rock and roll band local great. really great uh we're looking at trying to get some food trucks there so that's going to be what's happening down at the well, port Chris, unfortunately we have to yep. wrap it up what we i have do. so much more to say i know <laughs> it's the fourth of july parade fireworks yep. in yep. redwood city it's all happening <laughs> thank, thank you. you for joining us thank you we'll see all of you at the parade and the all fireworks right. on 4th of July in Redwood City. Thanks for joining me on <laughs> One you. on One. We'll see all of you next time.